Hey everyone, it's Michael Klepek again, and I know you're all just dying to hear more about bag houses. Today, we're diving into bag house repair, diagnostics, the main causes for breakdowns, the types of repairs you'll encounter, and of course, the bag replacement process. So let's get into it. Diagnostics. The first step. Before jumping into any bag house repair, it's critical to diagnose the problem. Whether your system needs a minor upgrade or a full-scale repair, there are a few important questions you need to answer first. Corrosion and metal condition. You'll want to check the condition of the metal structures, especially if your bag house operates in a chemically aggressive environment. Hidden defects can often occur, and they may not be obvious at first glance. Operating parameters. Take a close look at the operating parameters of your bag house. Were there any deviations from the original settings? Check for dust load, humidity, temperature, and chemical exposure. This is vital to understanding why your system may not be working correctly. Operating conditions. Talk to the personnel who run the system daily. What modes and conditions has the bag house been operating under? These details can provide crucial insights into any inconsistencies or errors that could be causing issues. The goal here is to pinpoint what's going wrong with the equipment before diving into repairs. Main Causes of Bag House Repair Let's break down the main reasons why bag houses end up needing repairs. Incorrect Equipment Selection One of the most common causes of poor bag house performance is simply that the wrong equipment was chosen for the job. If the filtration area is too small or the dust load is too high, the system can't perform effectively. Unfortunately, this problem often arises because customers try to reduce capital costs, only to face expensive repairs later on. Excessive temperatures Another frequent issue is burnout of components due to operating temperatures that are higher than what the system was designed for. When filter bags burn out, they can fall into other components and jam the system. If the housing hasn't been deformed by heat, it's usually a simple fix. Just replace the filter panels, cages, and bags. However, if the housing is made from thin metal, temperature damage can be significant and require more extensive repairs. Incorrect filter fabric. Sometimes, the filter fabric simply wasn't suited for the type of dust in the environment. This can happen if the technical specifications didn't fully account for the characteristics of the dust, or if the supplier selected the wrong filter material. Compressed air deficiency A lack of compressed air is a common problem that leads to premature filter wear. When there's insufficient compressed air, moisture can accumulate during the regeneration pulse, leading to chemical reactions that damage the filter fabric. Over time, this causes the fabric to degrade much faster than it should. Ineffective regeneration system Blowpipes, while less commonly a problem, can still be a source of trouble if they're not installed or functioning correctly. Without blow nozzles or venturi tubes, the compressed airflow won't effectively clean the filter bags, making the system inefficient. One thing to keep in mind. Improper maintenance can turn a perfectly good system into a major repair project. Make sure only qualified personnel are handling bag house maintenance to prevent future problems. Types of bag house repair Now, let's talk about the different types of repairs you might need for a bag house. Replacement of filter bags. This is the most common type of repair. Over time, filter bags wear out and need to be replaced. When this happens, it restores the filtration efficiency and reduces pressure loss across the system. Repairing filter bags In some cases, minor damage can be patched as a temporary fix. This is only a short-term solution, but can be useful if the damage is localized and small. Rehabilitation of cages Deformed or damaged cages that hold the filter bags need to be repaired or replaced. 
This ensures the bags maintain their proper shape and function. Cleaning and Restoration Dust and residue can build up inside the system over time. Thorough cleaning using vacuums, scrapers, or compressed air can restore your system's efficiency. Be sure to clean internal components like diffusers and ducts to prevent wear on the sleeves. Replacement of seals and gaskets Worn seals and gaskets need to be replaced to maintain system tightness. Leaky seals can lead to contaminated air escaping and reduce system performance. The bag replacement process Let's go over the step-by-step -step process of replacing bag house filters. Preparation Before replacing the bags, shut down the system to ensure safety and prevent any pollutants from escaping into the workspace. If your bag house operates at high temperatures, allow the system to cool down. Always use appropriate PPE, gloves, respirators, goggles, and coveralls to protect workers from harmful dust and chemicals. Access the filters. Open the service hatches to access the filter bags. Depending on the design of the system, these hatches might be on the side or the top. Make sure there's no excessive dust buildup in the area before starting. Removing old bags. Carefully loosen the clamps or rings holding the old filter bags in place. Slowly remove the old bags to avoid stirring up dust. Cleaning and inspecting. After removing the old bags, clean the cages and inspect them for damage. Use vacuums or compressed air to clean the components and check for any issues that could affect performance. Installing new bags. Place the new filter bags into the cages carefully to avoid tearing or damaging them. Secure them with clamps or rings, just like the old ones. Close and test. Once the new bags are in place, close the hatches and seal everything up. Restart the system and perform a leak test to ensure everything is working properly. Disposal of old bags. Dispose of the old filter bags according to local environmental regulations. They may contain harmful substances, so be sure to handle them properly. Post-repair tips. After you've repaired or replaced parts of your bag house, here are a few tips to keep things running smoothly. Use materials that are suited for the specific operating conditions. Schedule regular inspections and cleanings to prevent clogs and reduce wear on the system. Optimize the air blow systems or regeneration mechanisms to remove dust without damaging the filter bags. Install sensors to monitor pressure, temperature, and airflow so you can catch any issues early. Train staff in proper maintenance techniques to minimize errors and prevent costly repairs. And that's it for today's episode on bag house repair. Make sure to follow these steps to keep your system in top shape. If you ever need assistance, don't hesitate to contact Torch Air. We're here to help. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.